In this tutorial, we're going to create a MailChimp pop-up subscription form. We're going to edit to our website. We're going to create an automated email that's sent out after someone opts into that form to deliver whatever you promised them on the opt-in form. And we're going to do all that in this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And let's get started. To create your first pop-up with MailChimp, let's log into your MailChimp account. I'm logged in right here. I have a free account. If you have a free account, this will work just as well for you. If you have a paid account, that means you can make more pop-ups with a free account. You can only make one at a time because you make one per audience. Every audience appears, from what I can tell, to have a different pop-up. And so if you have a paid account, you can make more than one audience, which means more than one pop-up. On a free account, it's just one audience and one pop-up. To create your pop-up, let's go to audience. And I'm gonna assume you have an audience created already. I'm going to go to sign up forms and I'm gonna choose subscriber pop-up. I'm gonna zoom in here, click on select next to subscriber pop-up. And here's our blank pop-up form. We can choose a layout from the left. So we could have the image show up on the right, up and on the left, like this. So I have a tall image. We can do it the other way too, image on the left instead of the right. We can have it image on the top, opt in down below, and no image at all if you don't want one. And you can also have it be a footer that appears on the bottom of your page. I prefer this one with the image on the top because it allows us to have a 16 by 19 widescreen image that fits in just right here. And the pop-up will look similar to this when you're making it. I just deleted all the stuff I had in mind. And so yours might not say opt-in here. The subscribe button might not be black, but it'll look very similar. So after you choose your layout, we can start customizing it. I'm going to click on set image, tad image at the top. I'm gonna to use this one that I uploaded previously. It's from a stock image site. I uploaded it by clicking on upload. Then I found it on my hard drive and I just uploaded it here. You can also upload from Giphy or pull an image from Giphy or a GIF, I guess, from Giphy, or images from Instagram. If you sync your Instagram posts, you can get images from there. I'm just gonna use this file I uploaded. Click on it, click on insert, and there it is. Fits right in, very nice. And now we have our image. We need to have an opt-in call to action because if you don't tell people what to do, they don't know what to do necessarily. So I'm gonna say here, enter your details down below to get your free super awesome email marketing PDF. I'm gonna center that, I'm gonna make it bold so it stands out. This is the call to action, this is what I want people to do. We want them to fill in their details down below. And by default, you have just an email field. If we click on it, there's some stuff we can change. You can change the actual label from email to enter your email or your best email or something like that. You can't make it not required for obvious reasons. You can also add a description, which is text that goes below text below right there. So if the field you're asking for isn't quite clear on what it wants, you can give examples right here. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna add another field by clicking the plus icon and it's going to be the first name field. I'm gonna click the up arrow to move it up to the top. I'm gonna to click on it to edit the details. I'm not gonna change anything in my case. I just wanna show you that this exists. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And whether or not you make it required is up to you. Some people don't wanna enter their first name. So I usually leave this not required, just have the email required, because that's really all you need at the end of the day. And that's good enough for me. And the more fields you add, the fewer people are going to actually opt in. So keep that in mind when you're deciding how many fields you want. If you add in here birthday just for fun, you want people to tell you their birthday for whatever reason, that's gonna to lead to less people signing up. And if you do this again and create a new custom field and add that in, it's gonna to lead to fewer people signing up. So the rule of thumb is use the least amount of fields possible because that will lead to the highest number of signups. The subscribe button is black. I'm going to change the text to send me my PDF and make the button green. It's not bad. This is the hover effect color. Make that a bit lighter. There we go. It's a nice button. And a disclaimer or a note down below. I'm just going to say, we will never spam you. Center that to make that smaller, small text. The made with MailChimp branding down here cannot be removed unless you have a paid account. If you have a paid account, you can go to settings and then choose show badge here, make that off. 
and then it will turn that off and it won't be visible. Again, only with a paid account. If you want to change your styling, like your font or your heading colors and paragraph colors and font size, you can change those options here under the style tab or style button. And the last thing we want to do is change our success message. This is what's going to be shown after they submit the form. I'm going to change my text to thanks. Check your email inbox for your free PDF. And I'll send to that short and sweet. We want them to go to their inbox and check there rather than giving the download link right here because we could actually just have the word download, highlight it, put in a link and have this link right to the PDF so they could submit their info and download the PDF immediately, which would be great for user experience. People would love that. But what you want as a business is to have your emails go into people's inboxes and have people open those emails because that sends signals to the email delivery companies that people want to read your emails and they're more likely to get into the inbox whenever you send them. So if you're okay with it, I think you should make people go to their inbox and find your email there, open it, click a link in the email to go down the PDF that sends good signals to the companies that are monitoring your business for email deliverability. And that's all there is to the form itself. We have the simple form, they opt in, get a success message. We have not set up the email yet that they're gonna get, and we'll do that in a minute. But first we wanna connect it to a site. Click on connect site right here, and we enter the site URL where we want this pop-up to appear. I'm going to choose this one. Put the URL in there, click on get started. Then we need to add this code to our website. There's multiple ways you can do this. You can do this using a plugin, which we'll do in this example. You can also add the code directly to a functions file in the main theme, the parent theme, or a child theme. I have linked to the tutorial in the card up above and the description down below to show you how to do that if you wanna do it that way. It involves some code. So if you're a little more adventurous, that's the way to go because it saves you installing a plugin. But if you want to go the plugin route, I'm going to show you that right now. Go into our dashboard, go to plugins and add new. Look up insert headers and footers. Spelled it incorrectly. Let's try that again. Insert headers and footers. This is what I want right up here. Click on install now. If you're installing this plugin on a live site, you're going to want to back up your site first because just in case something goes wrong, you have a backup you can revert back to. It's rare these days that something goes wrong, but you just never know. There's a tutorial in the card up above and the description down below to help you do that if you need help. Click on activate when it's installed. And now under settings, we have the insert headers and footers. And this allows us to add scripts in the header, in the body, and in the footer. In our case, we wanna put it in the header as it says right here. You need to add some code to the head section of your website. So we wanna make sure it's in the head section, paste it in, click on save. And now we want to head back into MailChimp, click on check connection. We see it's connected. Let's turn this on, click on close. And now we're pretty much done. The website's connected, the form's all done, all that's set up. The last thing we want to choose is when this pop-up appears, what triggers the pop-up. Go to settings and under display here, you can choose immediately. As soon as someone loads a page on your site, the pop-up appears, which is super annoying. People don't even know you yet, so they're not gonna be opting in. So I highly recommend you don't do that one. After five seconds is pretty much the same as immediately. After 20 seconds is not much better, in my opinion. Scroll to the middle of the page, we're getting a bit better. So someone has consumed some of your content, hopefully seen some value you're gonna to provide to them. So maybe they're more likely to opt in. Scroll to the end of the page is the one I would choose because maybe they've read the entire blog post and now they've gained value from you and they're like, maybe I wanna hear more from them. So they might opt in or on exit is another one I would choose, which is when they're gonna leave your site and then the pop-up will appear right before they're able to click back or choose a different website URL. So I usually choose on exit. We have a position option as well. I usually choose modal, which means it pops up right in the middle of the screen. You also have slide as an option, which means it'll pop in from the bottom corner, the bottom right in this case, it's pretty subtle, but it's also effective. I'm gonna keep mine on mobile. You can change the overlay opacity which is how dark the overlay is gonna be on the website behind the pop-up to make it stand out more. I usually put mine right in the middle. That's all we have to do for settings. Then we click on save and publish. Make sure this is on, click on save and publish. And now our changes are saved. All changes saved. And I forgot to show you one thing. There's also the ability to preview what you're working on. So as you're building your pop-up, you can preview it in here and you see how it looks on mobile and on desktop. Now we're gonna see how it looks live. So let's come back out here, refresh this page, and let's say we're scrolling through the page, do, 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 and we go to exit. As soon as I start leaving the website, the pop-up's gonna appear. And it didn't. 
That's likely because it appeared earlier for a different tutorial I did and I closed it, then I was cookied, so it wouldn't appear all the time. So let's go incognito. If this is your first pop-up that you're making, you won't have to go incognito, but when you're testing, you often do, just to make sure that you have no cookies on your computer that's stopping the pop-up from appearing. So now we're here on the website, I go to exit and the pop-up appears, just as we'd expect. Let's put in my name here and then speedify pop-up at wpspeedify.com. It's not a real email address. This is just so we can see it instead of our account in a minute. Click on send me my PDF. Thanks, check your email inbox for your free PDF. Wonderful. Let's go back into our MailChimp account and we'll be able to see that new contact. Let's go to audience and all contacts and we see right here, speedify pop-up at wpspeedify.com. And so that all works. The last thing we wanna do is set up the actual email that contains the PDF that is sent to this person who just opted in. Luckily in the free account, we're able to send one automated email. This wasn't true in the past. This is a recent addition where MailChimp allows you to add one automated email to a free account, which makes your life a whole lot easier. So to create the one-off email that's gonna be sent out immediately, we can go to this pencil here for create and click on email. We're gonna choose automated. And this is gonna be a welcome new subscribers email. Let's click on that. Let's call this WP Speedify welcome email. The audience we're gonna go to is WP Learning Lab. If you have a paid account, you have more than one audience. On a free account, you only have one. So you gotta send it just to that audience or send it to people who are added to that audience. Whenever there are new ones added, they'll get this email. And now we have everything set up and I go into more detail on how to create audiences and how to set these defaults in a complete MailChimp walkthrough tutorial. In this video, we're just talking specifically about opt-in pop-ups. If you wanna see the full tutorial, there's a link to that in the card up above and in the description down below. So these things are automatically set. This we just set in that little dialog box. This we set in the other tutorial, the full walkthrough I told you about. The subject line, click on edit subject and we can edit the subject. Thanks for joining. Um, Let's change this to, here's your free PDF download. The preview text is visible in some inboxes right below the subject line. So you can have something here that will further entice people to wanna to open and do whatever it is you want them to do in the email. Or if we leave this blank, it'll just take the first sentence of the email and pop it in here. So which one you choose is up to you. Click on save when you're ready, then click on design email. And now just like the pop-up builder, we can build an email or very similar to it, I'll just like. I'm gonna click on the plus icon and choose logo to add my logo at the very top. It's auto-filled as you can see. This is outlined in the tutorial, the complete walkthrough one I mentioned earlier. And right here is where the email starts. So it's gonna say hi, and then if they have a first name, if they entered one, it's gonna show their first name here. If they didn't enter a first name, this will just be blank. And then we have a bit of text. This is the email. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet for this tutorial, but you're gonna to wanna to have something that's pretty well thought out because this is the first email you're sending them. So you wanna provide a lot of value and be relevant to what they need. And for sure, you wanna right away give them a download and then be relevant and add value below that. So I'm gonna start off right away by saying, here's your super awesome, free super awesome email tips PDF. I'm gonna highlight this and make it a link. And this link is going to be the address of the PDF. I've got one right here. You can upload this PDF to WordPress. You can upload it to Dropbox. You can upload it to Google Drive. You can you can use beacon.by for making your PDFs, which I use. When you have a PDF link, you just insert it in there. And now this will be a clickable link when they open the email. And that's exactly what you want. You want to deliver the link right away. And you want to now deliver value. And we want to deliver value multiple times, we want to sign off. Let's left align this thing. I want to sign off, talk soon, and then your name. So this is a really quick, short and sweet email, as you can see, but you want to think it through and look up some templates and examples online for successful welcome emails and make one that's great for your followers and your customers and your subscribers. All the elements you have available to you, you can see when you click the plus icon, so you can lay out a very nice looking email. You can even add products from various e-commerce platforms, including WooCommerce. So you can do a lot with the email builder. And when you click on any one of these, you have options for manipulating and changing the text. You have more options on the left-hand side here. If you click on a different one, like a logo, you have options for the logo. If you add in your social icons, here they are down here, you have options for your social icons. Enter all your social icon URLs here and customize your email as you need. Then click on continue 
And if there's anything wrong with the email, you'll see a red triangle here saying something's wrong, you have to fix it. Here it says we've automatically added a referral badge, which is the MailChimp badge at the bottom that we can only get rid of with the paid account. And so everything is fine as it is. Click on Start Sending. And now this automation, once we click Start Now, is going to be turned on. This is going to be turned on for all new subscribers. This will not send an email to people who are previously subscribed to that list, to this audience. It's only going to send to new ones. Click on Start Now. And now whenever someone opts in to the pop-up that we saw on this site, they are going to be added to that list, to that audience, and they're going to receive that email with the download link. Next, I encourage you to check out this playlist right here, which is all about MailChimp tips and tricks and getting better at it and being very effective with MailChimp for your business or for your clients' businesses. So check out that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I'll see you in the next video.